Our boys were asked to be ring bearers for their aunt and soon to be uncle and we accepted. But the wedding was set to start at 4.30 and that tends to be one of their most fussy times of the day being age one and two. So we had no idea how they'd hold up. Thankfully, mom took care of the wardrobe, which we got them into without too much difficulty. So with their matching green vests and black suits, they were looking pretty sharp. The venue was this really nice rented big house that we all stayed in for the weekend. Fully catered, food was delicious, decorations were on point. Big picture windows everywhere, nice fall foliage outside. And even though Quinn was starting to show some definite signs of fussiness, we managed to clean up pretty nicely in time for the start of the ceremony. And it was a really nice ceremony, but both our guys were getting pretty fussy at this point. Quinn especially was getting tired. You can see him resting his head on this couch right here. And when the time came for the boys to bring the rings up to the altar, Alice wanted nothing to do with it. And Quinn wanted to walk up there, but once he got there, he wanted to keep on walking. <laughs> Mom just gave the rings. I scooped Quinn up. He was about done with his responsibilities, but he was happier later when he was free to move around a little more. Alice was also happy to explore a little more and even played some piano for us. So even though the ring bearing didn't go according to plan, it was still a great wedding with some really nice memories.